Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 11 of Chronic Woodwork. Today we are going to take some scrap wood and make some balancing wine bottle holders. Here we go. Work with exotics or domestic hardwood lumbers really at all. I guarantee you're bound to have some of these cutoffs in your garage. So today my goal is to get rid of them, but not just burn them. So we're going to try and do something fun and take it back to my first ever project, the balancing wine bottle holder. So this was the first ever balancing wine board I made. Just a piece of oak I got from the box store, had a wood burning pin, and burned it, burned it a little design. But mine sits at about 43 degrees. Once you get the balance, it's pretty stable. The first step was laying out the design. Because we're using scrap, our choices are obviously pretty limited, but I took the time to lay out some designs that I thought were pretty cool looking. The second step was roughly cross-cutting all of the pieces to length. If you wait till the end of the video, I'll have a single slide that shows the design and dimensions for my wine boards. I made sure to lay all the boards out to ensure I liked the final design before gluing up. And then obviously I glued up and planed the boards to a flush surface. Using my digital miter gauge, I dropped the blade to 45 degrees. I then cut two parallel edges on each board at about eight and a half inches apart. As you'll see, that distance isn't really all that important. Using the square, I then found the middle of the board and marked my point of where I wanted to drill. Once again, the exact location for that drill point can be found at the end of this video on my plans and design. Then it was just time to drill. I highly recommend keeping a shop vac nearby to help prevent some of the mess. Be aware that this is a slow, monotonous process, so I lay them out so I can see my progress and at least feel a little bit good about myself. I then used a Dremel tool to sand out any of the burn marks inside the drill hole and sanded with 120 grit uh, to get all the boards nice and smooth. I then employed my custom finishing rack to apply the clear spray on polyurethane. And last, I performed a little QAQC to ensure that each of the boards was up to snuff. As always, I appreciate you all watching. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. If not, we'll catch you next time. If you're interested in purchasing any of these wine boards, uh, please stop by and see my friends over at the Georgia Winery in Ringgold, Georgia, especially if you enjoy sweet Southern wine. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.